Everyone has used a sun visor before. It sits above the driver or passenger seat in a car and is supposed to block out the sun. There's just one problem. This very old feature of cars also block some of your view of the road. And in the worst case scenario, that can sometimes lead to accidents. So Bosch, which is best known for household appliances, has been tinkering with a prototype which it's calling the virtual visor. And its goal is really simple. Block out the sun while still giving you the maximum visibility of of the road. So what they've come up with, it fits still into the general shape of a visor, so it sits above the driver's seat or the passenger seat. When it's flipped down, it uses a transparent LCD display, which they say is the kind that you typically find on a calculator. Now, a camera tracks the driver as they move around inside the cabin, and then only blocks the exact parts of the display where the sun would be hitting them. That means that around that very particular segment, they can still see some of the road. Now, this type of display, it's not fully transparent. They said to me that it's about 50% transparent, which, to be honest, isn't that transparent. I can see objects and it's definitely more helpful than just having a piece of plastic in front of me, but you're also not seeing crystal clear view of the road. Still, this could be really useful and it is an improvement on what we have already. I was sitting here at CES in a very sort of mock car cabin. They were just using a Logitech webcam in order to track my view in a very small space. But I got the gist for it and I gotta say it tracked me really well and these sort of hexagonal segments on the visor shifted around appropriately in order to make sure that this big torch that was blasting into my face wasn't blinding me. So, you know what? It certainly has potential. They're not talking about what sort of deals they have in place yet or when it might be on the market, but they say that they've had some interest from both traditional car manufacturers and operators of commercial fleets. So who knows, one day you might see this in a car that you might actually buy. For more on the virtual visor and everything else happening here at CES, keep it locked to Engadget.com and YouTube.com slash Engadget.